I'm going to begin, guys. I want to ask about playing uh, detectives because I'm always interested if actors base and perfect their performance off the back of, you know, like research into real life detectives. Or has the kind of character of a detective become so ingrained in kind of cinematic storytelling that instead you almost find yourself using cinematic versions of detectives to uh, to base your performance off? I did not. <laughs> you, you, yeah, because no, I know you did not. I'm, I'm addicted to murder porn, docudramas. Um, you know, 48 hours, you know, the real thing. And um, so I told Gideon and, and uh, Ramon Campos when they offered me the role, I need a story. I need to know who she is as a human being because in those things you get to know the detectives, you get to know the victims and, and the suspects uh, on a personal level. And, um, and so they came, you know, uh, with it, you know, we collaborated and, and created this character, Flora, and everything. But yeah, and also my daughter-in-law, she's she's a, a detective sergeant. <laughs> so yeah, so I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm of course around her all the time. So it was easy for me. Yeah, that was a big yeah. guide because she really was steeped in that culture and that world. And, and uh, so that was a, a big guide and sort of keeping the, the technical part of it honest but also then keeping the focus on on the characters and the relationships and rather than the whodunit part of it. Of course, in this, you guys are shooting in the now and the then. <laughs> uh, did you have to alter your performances quite subtly depending on which time sort of period is being presented? Was that quite difficult actually to get those kind of nuances right? It was kind of tricky because we shot the whole thing like a movie over a period of four months. So on any day, you could be doing both periods and working with both directors and really trying to keep straight, like, where am I in my head now? And where am I in relation to the people I'm talking to? Um, more than anything, like, what is, what is my current relationship with these people? And trying to build so that when you finally stand back, trying to build that story and you see it from the outside. Um, and sometimes just plot wise, you're trying to remember like, do I know this part already? Did we already arrest this person? Did we already talk to this person? And there's a lot of just keeping track um, to make sure that you are in the right place at the right time so that the story you wanna build is the story that you end up with. Yes, because what's unique about uh, Jelko and I's character in this TV series, we are the only one of the cast that plays our younger and older selves. And so even from, you know, the body language of the walk, you know, uh, younger Flora, her, her chest is out, her, her, her shoulders are back, you know, she has a different gait. Um, you know, she has a different uh, maturity, you know, um, a, a different emotional response 20 years earlier than she has uh, 30 years, uh, uh, 20 years later, you know, and so it was a challenge, but I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. But it was, you had to, you had to do your homework. You had to be on your toes. And just very, very quickly before I go, one of the themes here obviously is losing touch, you know, growing older and the kind of difference between the, the, the past and the kind of and the present day. Uh, as actors, you're so used to making close friendships and then just waving them goodbye. Do, do you guys ever have many sort of reunions for movies? And Rosie, I know obviously you had the White Man Can't Jump reunion briefly at the Oscars. Is, is that quite a rarity to get the chance to go back and see co-stars again? We've, it, actually, just coincidentally, we, there, we've both had a lot of instances where we stayed in very close touch with people that we worked with. And I mean, I did a play in 1980, and I'm still uh, in very close friends with, with that group of people. That's happened more on theater projects or very often when you're out of town shooting because everybody is now kind of in this bubble world. Um, and to me, it's been one of the most sustaining things. Um, because you do sort of just land with a group of people and move on, but to find the relationships that you latched onto and keep up with those and feel like you have a kind of lifetime uh, connection to people has is, is been one of the most kind of satisfying parts of the business. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Great, but on that note, thank you so much for your time today. Best luck with the release thank of the show. You. Thank you. Thanks, Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? Indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!